Hello. Okay, we are live. Let's see, I am going to be going live with Robin from KetoCon. Let's see if I can figure out how to add her. I'm never the one to start the lives. I usually join them, so let's see. And okay, so I'm going live with Robin. Hi, Bobby. Robin, um, the founder of KetoCon. So hi, Jack. We are going to be taking any questions you have regarding KetoCon or whatever questions you want to ask. We are here for you. All righty. I think I did that right. <laughs> I was saying I'm always the one to like join somebody else's lives. I'm like, did I do this right? What am I doing? Hi, right, everybody. Okay, so yeah, Q&A. Ask me anything. We can also talk about KetoCon. We can ask Robin anything about KetoCon. Is anyone going? Does anybody have their tickets to KetoCon? Let me know. KetoCon is unable to join oh no let me try that again but in the meantime pop your questions in let's try this again hi Lindog. hi tim okay hopefully that worked freaking technology all right but there there is also okay you can put any questions you have in the comment um in the comments or there's that little question box the little bubble with the question you can pop them in there that kind of keeps them all organized as well and just waiting for robin to hop on that's all i got how's everyone's day going today was my first day back with dairy very exciting Feeling good, feeling good without dairy. So going to be keeping that minimal. All right, I don't know, it keeps saying, oh, okay. I see that you're on Robin, it won't, it's saying you won't, um, you like can't join. Here, here we go, this might work. Sorry, guys. Oh, here we go. There we go. Hi. Hi. All righty. How are I'm you? Great. How are you? I'm good. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you, too. I've talked to you so, so many times on email. I feel like I already know you. I know. Oh, it's weird to, like, finally put a face to the name. Right. We already have a question, and that's one that I had, too. Um, so I don't know where where you want to start or anything, but I uh, was having people put some questions in if they had any. So we got one lined up when we're ready to tackle that. Um, we can do this in whatever order you'd like. If, we, if people want to start asking questions right off the bat, it's fine with me. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I was curious about this one, too. So Jacqueline asked, how many years has KetoCon been happening? KetoCon has, we launched in 2017, and we did the event in 2017, 18, and 19. Then we uh, kind of pivoted to an online version for 2020, which was, um, to be honest with you, not a great success because, because of the environment and what was going on at the time. Trying to figure out how to move to a virtual event in 90 days was really hard but we did it in 2020 online we were not able to do 2021 and then we just did 2022 in july nice yeah and that obviously a lot of us have seen all the clips that looked like a big <laughs> awesome turnout is it always in austin it has always been in austin um and i, I would imagine that eventually we'll do the event in other cities but uh for now Austin seems to be our home. Awesome. Well, I'm excited to go. Is anybody going? Anyone in here I know, going yet? I know people in 
your community are going because they've been using your discount code. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. If you haven't got your tickets yet, use my code uh, Luna 50 will get, get you 50 bucks off. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. There's a lot of great speakers that I'm excited to see. And even just people that aren't speaking, but that are in the community. It's like, I've made all these online friends that I'm now going to be able to meet in person. Right. So that's going to be awesome. Oh, good. good. You're going for the first time. <laughs> Hey, Rusty. Okay, cool. Yeah, it'll be my first time too. You know, people ask me um, quite often uh, if KetoCon is just for people who follow a ketogenic diet. Uh, and the answer to that is no. So when we first launched this event, it was uh, specifically and solely focused on the ketogenic diet and lifestyle. And uh, in those days, in 2017, almost all of our, with the exception of maybe four or five, uh, exhibitors were, that were there um, were offering some sort of food product. And that has changed over the years. Uh, we are now, if you look at our website at ketocon.org, if you look at the list of companies that are attending as sponsors and exhibitors, uh, there we've kind of evolved into an event that, that is focusing on health optimization as opposed to the ketogenic diet. While I think that the underlying theme of the event will always be teaching people how to utilize ketosis to improve their metabolic health, because as we all know, all the other issues that we have are a byproduct of poor metabolic health. So my goal in this event is to make it um, as open as possible to as many protocols as possible with the end goal being optimizing your health. So the event is not just for people who follow a ketogenic diet. We're seeing quite honestly, I mean, I would say 50% of this event as far as attendees are coming that are interested in carnivore diet. So um, I think that that's really popular right now and we'll have several panels related to the carnivore diet and multiple speakers that are speaking about um, how they are either using the, keto, the uh, carnivore diet to work with their patients or um, how they used it in their own life. So you're going to see a lot of that at KetoCon this year. Yeah, it seems to kind of like be the, the hot topic right now or it, it, people say what's like trending in a fad diet. But it's funny because a lot of these carnivores have been carnivores for a long time. It just is actually just getting some attention this year. <laughs> Um, but that, I'm glad that you mentioned that because I do have some animal-based friends that definitely aren't in ketosis with like the fruits and the stuff they're having. Um, but they were wondering, like, should I go? Like, I don't, I'm not keto, but I feel like there's going to be a lot of takeaways, even mm -hmm. if you're not necessarily in ketosis. But I think we all have that heavy meat diet, mm -hmm. like the heavy meat part of our diet in common. Right. I agree. Uh, I think, you know, the, the people who are questioning whether or not there's going to be something there for them should look at the speaker list on our website because we're addressing so many other topics other than food and diet. So we're addressing health, um, sleep optimization. We're addressing mental health, brain health. Um, we're working on finalizing the details of doing a cold plunge experience at KetoCon where people can experience that. There's sauna therapy, red light therapy, so many different uh, tools that can be used to improve your health. And I mean, KetoCon is not all about the speakers. Uh, although I would say it's 50% about the speakers. The rest is the social aspect of coming together, you know, in a live environment. And since you've never attended, hopefully some of the people who are on here right now have attended, but the, the real value in coming to KetoCon, there's several things, but one of the things that you'll experience when you walk in the door is it's kind of like if you've ever been to a concert where your favorite musician is playing, when you walk in, the energy in an, an environment like that is kind of, it's infectious. So all of those people are there because they're passionate about this type of music. Well, at KetoCon, all of those people are, are here, or there because they're passionate about improving their health. And so when you, I'm getting goosebumps, I always get goosebumps. <laughs> this. So when 
you walk in that door, that's what you feel. It's, it's just, it lifts you up. And then the whole three days is like that. So you're meeting people that you've met online, but now you're meeting them in person. You're meeting the founders of these different companies that you've um, been following or interested in for a long time, because those people are just like you and I. They started these companies because they saw a need for it in their own wellness journey, and they started a, a product or, or developed a food product. And so those people are actually there. You meet the, you meet the faces behind these companies as well. And then, Gosh, I mean, <laughs> the social aspect of this, sometimes I think people come more for the social aspect than anything else, just to be, I mean, you see it online, you see all the pictures and that people post about meeting their friends in person. So going to a live event, I think, will always uh, trump doing anything online. And that's been my experience as well. So our online event was, uh, it was okay, but there's no way for you to really connect with people if you're not making eye contact, if you're not, you know, having a conversation with them. But when you walk away from KetoCon, you, you've made some new friends and you've got new contacts. And the collaboration that I see going on between businesses and the attendees and the attendees and each other, uh, it's just, it's very fulfilling for me, but that's how, how the event goes. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Yeah, because I mean, the the speakers like that's going to be great getting that information. But it's so true, just like meeting everybody in person and just, you know, removing that screen and being able to, you know, give your internet friends a hug. Like, right. yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun. Definitely the social aspect for sure mm -hmm. is what it's all about. Um, someone said they went last year. It was an amazing experience. Everybody into a healthier lifestyle should attend. Yeah, it seems like there's something for everybody if you're looking to improve your life. Um, someone's asking if you have space for any more speakers by chance. <laughs> we don't, unfortunately. And not only am I full, but I have a, a waiting list, a long waiting list. Um, this has been probably We've received more speaker applications this year than ever before in the past. Um, and I got well over 300 applications and we don't have space for that much, that many people. And really, I mean, we've got about 70 speakers now with all the panels and there it's almost too much. I am recording all of the presentations this year. So people will be able to, there's a virtual replay pass that people can purchase when they buy their ticket so that if they miss anything, that they'll be able to see the recording of it. Um, but there, there's a lot. There's, we run, a KetoCon is held, uh, the Palmer Event Center is a convention center. And we have space for a keynote stage, which is on the first floor of the venue that seats about a thousand people. And then upstairs, we have breakout rooms, three different breakout rooms. So at any given time, there's a speaker on one of those stage, on, on all of those stages, excuse me, every hour for the whole three days. So uh, it can be a little overwhelming uh, because everybody wants to see everything in it and it's just not possible. Wow, okay, that's a lot. I didn't realize it was gonna be that big. So how many tickets do you have available for people to come? Um, we've sold a little bit more than a thousand tickets so far and uh, we have space for 2,500 okay. or so. Um, I expect that we will have that that number of attendees this year, uh, just based on the, the pace of the ticket sales so far and our past history. In the past, usually the last three months leading up to the event is the highest volume of ticket sales. And so um, that's what I'm expecting. The, there's plenty of space within the venue for all of these people because again, you're gonna be either in a breakout room on the keynote stage or walking the vendor floor. Uh, there's, there's, there's some chance that very popular speakers may have standing room only, um, but, uh, and that does happen actually. But um, I mean, when people are, are the, uh, the schedule is going up on our website on Friday and uh, people will be able to kind of plan their experience at the event from looking at the schedule, who they want to see and where they want to go. Okay, awesome. Yeah, that's going to be really great. Um, guys, if you have, hi Frank, if you have any questions for us, anything about KetoCon or whatever, <laughs> pop them in the comments or in the little chat box. 
yeah so do you want to let us know like a few of the the names that are going to be there that people might be excited to see i mean obviously everyone that's going to be there is going to be amazing but do you want to just rattle off a few that come to mind sure um well ken berry will be speaking um dr kiltz will be speaking um just gonna pull up the website right now and give you start reading off the list of uh, ben azadi will be speaking and um I should know these off the top of my head, but, and I've been buried in the schedule all week this week, too. Well, there's a lot, and I also put you on the spot. But yeah, I mean, those people are great Sean, so far. Sean Baker, Sean Baker will be speaking. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, um, Annette Bosworth will be speaking, Anna Kabeca, Judy Cho, Kara Collier from NutriSense, Mike Collins, who is the producer of the Quit Sugar Summit, um, Danny Conway, who, I'm pretty sure you know, Danny. I think I've seen some stuff where you guys have been together doing lives in the past. Is that right? I haven't gone live with her, no, okay. but she's amazing. Yes, she is. Uh, let's see. Um, Molly Eastman will be speaking. That Your crowd might not know her, but she uh, specializes in sleep optimization. Okay. So I'm really excited about that uh, because that's a component that we've never brought to the event before. Are you familiar with the Meat Mafia podcast? Mm-hmm. So Harry and Brett are going to be speaking. They're actually moderating a panel for regenerative agriculture and food sourcing. So that's something new to KetoCon this year. They'll both be speaking. They'll also be podcasting in the podcast booth during the show. Um, Ade Fox will be speaking. I think you know her. Um, let's see, Dorian Greenow will be speaking. He's the founder of uh, Keto Mojo. Uh, Anthony Gustin, Emily Harvo. Stephen Hussey, uh, Kashif Khan, who is uh, the CEO of the DNA company. So we're going to be bringing a component of understanding DNA to the event as well. Um, I already told you about Robert Kiltz. Uh, Bella Ma, or Steak and Butter Gal, will be speaking. Uh, Philip Meese, who is the owner and founder of uh, the Carnivore Bar, will be speaking. I can, I can continue. Uh, <laughs> Sally Norton. Are you familiar with Sally Norton's? Yes. Sally Norton's? And she just has her new book out too. So yes. that's yes. great timing. Yeah. Um, I, I've actually been trying to have Sally as a speaker at our event since day one. And uh, I'm thrilled that she's coming this year. Really. Am. Awesome. Yeah, Let, that's great. Um, Bill Schindler and his wife will be speaking. Okay, cool. Oh, he's awesome. Robert Sykes, Laura Spath, uh, Kevin Stock. Donald Vega, and uh, Lisa Weedman, Carnival. Okay. Yes, so. awesome. <laughs> so great. And so many, like, you know, representing Carnivore, too. Really so is. that's really cool. Yeah, it's, it's, it says a lot for what's happening um, in this space. I'm, I'm really excited to see that the value of, uh, like, uh, food elimination protocols are, are really catching on. People are finally starting to see the value. And it's kind of, uh, I don't want to say blowing up, but uh, the, the rate at which this is growing popular is much faster than anything I've seen in a long time. Now, I know that there are a lot of people have been doing this in zero carb for a while. I think like five or six, maybe eight years ago, I was in Facebook groups that were zero carb. But it just wasn't something that people talked about in open conversations or, or in events like this. So I'm really excited to see the, the growth. Yeah, I mean, even like I've been in the keto space for like seven years on and off keto, and I never heard of carnivore I, that whole time until last year. And so I don't know if this is why, but it was for me with um, carnivore MD, Dr. Paul Saladino, kind of getting, you know, him and Liver King, I guess, getting famous on TikTok, if you will. So that was my intro. So I don't know if that's why it's getting so many eyeballs on it right now right. from that. So whatever brings it to people's attention is great. Oh, someone's asking Dr. Mindy Pelz, is she going to be there? She will not be there this year. She was there last oh. year. Yeah, she's awesome. She just let her book out too, if anyone's interested, fasting like a girl. 
Someone is asking, are there designated social opportunities during the conference? Is there anything planned? Designated social opportunities during the conference? Um, I'm, I'm not sure if this is what you're talking about, but there are, we do have a networking lounge set up on the showroom floor where we will be scheduling um, specific speakers to be doing meet and greet sessions. So there's um, a few of our speakers are also authors and they'll be doing like book signings and uh, meet and greet sessions in that networking lounge. As far as other types of social um, events, we do do the we do the VIP dinner on Friday night for VIP ticket holders and speakers, but other than that, we don't have like a social gathering planned for Saturday night at this point. Um, simply because there's so much going on, it would just our staff can't we can't go like twenty four seven for three days straight. We have to have Saturday night off. That being said, if, if um, one of our sponsors wants to do some sort of a social event at the venue on Saturday night, we will do it. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure, I mean, there's gonna be so many people there. Of course, when the conference is over at night, I'm getting together and going somewhere to, to eat yeah. some meat, I would assume. <laughs> um, I don't want to say this because it might not be true, but I know that, um, what is it? Brian Sanders from Food Lies has the Sapien Center. Yes. Um, rumor has it he might be hosting some sort of event uh, over KetoCon weekend. That's possible, but um, he hasn't spoken to me about it. But that that is possible. I would imagine he probably did that last year. So I would imagine again. Okay. Yeah, just having like a little meetup or something. Mm -hmm. Someone's asking Mike Munsell. I don't know who that is. Mike, are they attending? Is not speaking this year, no. And Debbie just heard of KetoCon four weeks ago. Thank you both. Yeah, I hope you can go, Debbie. Austin, Texas, April twenty first. I have a code for you if you want to save fifty <laughs> bucks. All right. Let's see if I missed anything. So yeah, if anybody has any questions, put them in the comments or the little comment box. Um, I did see something about if there's space for uh, vendors, any more vendors. Yes, there is. Okay. We have space for approximately 100 vendors, and there's, I think, 60-something signed up right now. So we do have some space. Awesome. Um, the code is LUNA50. So that will save you 50 bucks. So I think, does the price go up in February? Yeah. The current ticket price is $200. That discount will get the ticket down to $150. But the price is um, increasing by $50 on February 1st and $50 on March 1st. So uh, by April 1st, the ticket will be $300. And that, that's and it's a three-day pass for that right. cost. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that was it on the questions so far. Let me check my little box. All right, yeah, that's the question so far. I don't know if there's anything, Robin, that you want to bring up about it that we need to know. Uh, I think that um, for people who are uh, considering going or on the fence about going, um, this is an event where you go to learn more about your lifestyle to if weight loss or is your goal there will be information to address that if you have uh, metabolic concerns uh, that are you know you have health challenges that are a byproduct of metabolic disorder that will be all that will be discussed there's I think that uh, going to an event like this should be a way for, for people to fill their toolbox with everything they need, things that they can take home to start improving their health. And a lot of us have been on this journey for a while and we've already you know, gotten to where we want to be and those people still come to learn more. And so the research is continuing. All of the uh, 
all of the companies and individuals who are writing books and doing research that continues, although it's not publicized very often. And those people come to this event to share what they're finding. So if you have challenges with carnivore or if you're following low carb or keto and you have challenges, this is a place to come to learn, but then also to connect with your peers. And there's not, you're not going to find another place where the energy level is so high that it's contagious at a health event. It's just a, a, a ton of fun. So yeah, that's really, that's pretty much what I have to say. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going to be awesome. I mean, because there's just so many different, like, different paths you can go or rabbit holes, if you will, of ways to tweak what you're doing. Like, you know, I've been carnivore for for eight months now, and I'm just now getting into like the cold therapy side of things or the infrared lights. Like you can't just do everything and learn everything at once. So it just, it takes time to like, you know, find different things to learn about and make little tweaks. So yeah, I mean, no one would go there and not learn something right. new for right. sure. Exactly. Yeah, I would love By the way, um, I don't think I mentioned this, but uh, uh, Body Spec is going to be at KetoCon this year again, and they'll have four vans um, lined up in the showroom floor um, doing DEXA scans. Okay. And, um, we will be sending an email probably next week and again in the future to the ticket holders so that they can reserve a space uh, to do it. Last year, they had they had two vans at the show last year, and they were scheduling like every 10 minutes. They scheduled, I think they did um, 120 DEXA scans over the weekend. Maybe, maybe it was more, but um, that's a, that's a, a um, how can I say this? People who are wondering if what they're doing is working or where they are, you know, in whatever their, uh, their goals are, this is a great way to see how well what you're doing is working. And what are some of the things that that scan is measuring? It's measuring your uh, bone mass, your, bot, your muscle mass and your fat mass. So if you're someone who has been um, doing keto or carnivore for a long time and the scale says that you haven't lost a pound, but you're, you notice your body composition changing, a DEXA scan will confirm that for you because it'll tell you how much muscle you have compared to how much fat you have. And that's something that you can do you know, once every six months, once a year, and see the real progress because the number on the scale doesn't really mean anything if you're gaining muscle. Yeah, no, that will be awesome. Is that going to be an additional cost or you just have to reserve a spot? Um, it's an additional cost, um, but they're doing it at a discount. I think they're charging like $39 to do the, the DEXA scan, which um, depending on where you live in the United States, you would pay anywhere from 75 to 125 I believe, to get that done. Nice. Yeah, that's great. Cool. Great. <laughs> Out of all the people that have joined, I just saw someone that I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so if anybody has any questions about anything KetoCon, let us know. Let us know if you're going. Yes, if any of you are on, let us know if you're going. I'd like to know if you're planning to go. And if you still need a ticket, grab them before the cost goes up. Luna 50 We'll get you 50 bucks off. Oh, is that your friend? <laughs> Laura, yeah. Dory, yes, she said hi, Rob. <laughs> and there's Tatiana. I know her too. <laughs> Two people. <laughs> awesome. Mom to go is going. Yay. And the guy that just joined, the ketogenic Jew, um, that's actually Ryan. He's my son. Okay. And um, he works with all of uh, our vendors manages the showroom floor at the event. Hi, Ryan. Awesome. Hello. Okay. Cheer me on. Lots of people are saying they're going, planning to go with husband. Yeah, I'm, I'm bringing my husband too. We are making a whole big weekend away from the kids out of it. So this is our vacation to KetoCon. <laughs> Where do you live? 
I'm in Southern California. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Really fun city. There's a lot to do there. I mean, if you can stay an extra day before or after the event, there's so much to do. And April, the weather's beautiful. It will be a lot of fun. Yeah, it's. I've been there once. It's been a while. But yeah, we're flying out Thursday and leaving Monday. So awesome. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be fun. Yay! look at everyone that's going. I think Dory has been to Dory, have you been front to every KetoCon event? She comes in from Canada. Wow. I think she's been to every one. Nice. You'll recognize Dory because she colors her hair like the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Very cool. All right. Well, if anyone has any questions, let us know. Uh, the discount code <laughs> Luna50. So it's my last name, 50, which gets you 50 bucks off. So Dory started coming in 2018. So she's been to every event since 2018. Nice. She's a great cheer. Yeah, it's going to be the Super Bowl of all keto carnivore well, events. I would say that we have built a reputation for that. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm excited. What's what's new this year for 2023? Dory wants to know. She's trying to think of questions to ask me. New this year. Um, we will be doing a Carnivore for Women panel this year. This speaks directly to uh, women who um, have been carnivore for a while and uh, the challenges that they experience to try and help give people some guidance. Um, regenerative agriculture panel is new this year and well, other things that are new this year, the cold plunge experience, the sauna experience, red light therapy. Uh, there'll be a lot. I, I think you'll find as many biohacking tools. If you want to use the word biohacking, uh, at this event than you've ever seen in the past. Um, someone asked, what are the dates? April 21st, 22nd, and 23rd in Austin, Texas. And the website is ketocon.org. Hi, Natalie. Someone's asking oh, if there's a host hotel. There is not a host hotel, but we have negotiated discounted rates um, with three properties that are close to the event center. And you can find them on our website under the uh, attendees tab the, at the homepage. Their hotels in April are um, <laughs> hotels in April are not cheap. If you are coming with more than one person, um, or I mean, if you are coming, if you're not coming by yourself, uh, I would highly recommend looking for an Airbnb. And if you are coming by yourself, there's actually a lot of one bedroom uh, Airbnbs, like apartments and condos, that you can rent. Um, that will probably be much more affordable than the hotels. The hotels are expensive this year, even with the discounted rates. Yeah, they must know that you guys are having an event, or is it always like that in April? I think it's just the, the, the dates. Um, we normally do this event in June and July, and who wants to go to Texas in June and July? Not very many people, so the rates are really low. But... Um, because it was like 111 degrees. So uh, <laughs> anyway, April is a little bit more expensive, but the weather is better. It'll be much more enjoyable experience for everyone. Um, we, we have a couple of uh, vendors, uh, sponsor partners that we're talking to about doing, adding some uh, events outside because the weather is going to be so nice, but we'll be, uh, we'll be sharing updates about that too. Okay. I just said so hot last year. Yes, it was, it was brutal. It really was. You just step out of your car to walk into the building and you're already sweating. Jules, are you going to KetoCon? Can your private pilot drop you off for the weekend? <laughs> um, what about, okay, I'm curious, is there going to be like food for purchase during the day or what, are, how are we eating while we're there <laughs> all day? Well, the Palmer Event Center has a contracted catering company that um, 
runs what they call a concession stand. The food there is not that great. Um, however, they do work with us to bring as much um, keto slash carnivore food as possible. Um, We've struggled with them over the years for them to understand what that really means, but we're working on it again this year and I'm hoping to have more options. But um, there's a restaurant literally across the street from the Palmer Event Center called Terry Black's and um, they're famous for their for their barbecue. Oh, okay, someone just said barbecue across the street is amazing. Yep. Bring yep. in Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah, Jules is going to smuggle in some wings. <laughs> We have a, an addiction to wings or, you know, some of us are, you know, we're keto. We can fast all day if need be. Right. 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 <laughs> there will be um, some food vendors there that will be giving out samples and stuff like that. So uh, you'll be able to eat that as well. And um, we're not starting quite as early this year as we've started in the past. So for people who, you know, want to make it through the day, I would suggest if you don't want to buy something, bring some food with you um, or check out the concession stand. They, uh, I'm trying to get them to do to smoke turkey legs this year. Oh, nice. So we'll see if I can get them. The problem is, is that when a, like a catering company does that and they are contracted, so the Palmer Event Center won't let any other co food companies come in to serve food. So when they have that spot, they, they the prices are kind of crazy. Um, Oh, and Dory said, hit the Pedersen's Farm bacon booth. So that's true. Pedersen's Farms is always there. They will be back. Um, they're going to be cooking bacon and sausage all day, every day. Uh, there's also um, Holy Cow Beef will be there this year. They're new to the event, and they're going to be on the regenerative agriculture panel. But they will be also serving uh, meat and sausages. Uh, last time I talked to them, they were considering doing, like, lamb patties or lamb sliders. So... Um, yeah, there'll be there'll be plenty of food. And awesome. Sounds good. They go by so freaking fast. Like before you know it, it's time to go to dinner. <laughs> yeah. Won't be worried about eating all day, especially with all those samples. <laughs> that sounds good. And then what so I know obviously there's gonna be a lot of like keto snack um vendors, but what about for carnivore? Like are there any of the the jerky Carniv or the carnivore crisps coming? Carnivore snacks will be there. Oh good. Um, okay. Which I mean they're a favorite of ours. Our whole entire team loves them. Um, and uh, the carnivore bar will be there. Are you familiar with them? Yes. So they make an awesome pemmican bar. Um, so they will be there too. And um, holy cow beef will be there. So yeah, there's going to be lots of, I think more carnivore than keto, honestly. Yeah. There'll be, at this point, um, we have fewer food vendors than op health optimization tool vendors so far. Interesting. Okay. So are, so you were saying there's going, there might be a cold plunge or there will be a cold plunge. We're 99% we're sure we're working out the details right now. Okay. Um, okay. Probably within the next week, I'll be able to firmly announce that it will be. Um, it, there's a lot of logistics. If you can imagine something like that, taking place like inside a convention center so you have to have a large enough space to do more than one person at a time so you have to have several cold plunge opportunities then you have to have a privacy area for people to change and you have to have towels and you know there's all kinds of stuff that have to be worked into a plan like that so um fingers crossed we'll be doing it i'll be the first one in if we do yeah <laughs> and you don't have to wear a bathing suit by the way i mean you can wear, you know, yoga clothes or workout clothes or whatever. You don't have to, you know, walk around the convention center in a bathing suit. <laughs> I definitely won't be. <laughs> oh, that will be awesome. And that will make for good content, too. Obviously, no one's going to do it without being recorded and recording <laughs> themselves, right? <laughs> That's right. You're next. Yeah, that. And then you mentioned a sauna, too? Mm -hmm. So there's a company called Sauna Space that will be there. And actually, there's more than one sauna company coming. And they will have their um, sauna setups. Like one of them has a, uh, a red light sauna. So, um, and that's like a home version that you can do at home. 
So they'll have that set up and people can sit inside. So there'll be all kinds of like experiential stuff like that. Nice. Yeah, Jules is always in her bikini <laughs> um, in the backyard when it's freezing, getting tan, even though it's cold. So <laughs> awesome. Well, that'll be fun. I'm glad you're going, Jules. I didn't know you were going to go. So that is fun. All right. What? else is going to be happening there i'm trying to think if i have any other questions um guys if you have any questions let us know in the comments or in the question box on one of the things that we didn't talk about is um on saturday morning of the event we do an entrepreneur mastermind session and this is for people who are either already like launching a new business or are considering it we bring in the panelists, our business owners uh, that have already successfully launched their business. And essentially what happens, it's, it's not a formal environment, so it's very casual. So the panelists each introduce themselves, talk a little bit about their business and you know why they did it, how they grew it. Uh, and then after all the panelists introduce themselves, we open it up for questions so the people in the audience can ask questions. And it turns out, you know, it's usually pretty full when we do this, when we do the entrepreneur session. There's a lot of people who um, come to this event that are um, kind of like me. Their crisis became their calling and all of a sudden they found themselves, you know, in a totally different career and they're looking for ways to uh, grow their businesses. So um, that's a pretty popular event. We do there's there's a fifty dollar ticket upgrade for that, and uh, we serve free coffee, and it's a lot of fun. We do that on Saturday morning. Um, the other thing that we're doing is on Saturday afternoon there will be a um, a podcasting mastermind for people who are considering starting podcast. So this is um, how to how to launch a podcast and then how to monetize it without having you know a bunch of sponsors. So it's, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, Adam Shively was going to be uh, doing this session and he has a very successful podcast and he also runs or owns the podcasting business school. And so people really like that, that part of the event. We did it last year too. That's awesome. That's, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm both of those. I want to go to the entrepreneur one. Is it before or is, is it during the event time or before? It's in the morning before. So it starts. Okay. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Um, so you don't have to, have to miss anything. Right. <laughs> we start the entrepreneur mastermind at seven o'clock in the morning and it goes till eight 30. And then, uh, at eight 30, that's when we actually open the registration desk and check-in counter for all the, the rest of the attendees. So you'll be, if you attend, you'll be in the venue before, anybody else you'll be there you know at seven o'clock we opened it at 6 30 last year and that proved to be a little bit too early <laughs> oh that's awesome that sounds like a lot of fun and yes the best place for networking yeah i mean besides like learning from the speakers it's just like a big giant networking event mm -hmm. and as far as the you know entrepreneur or even the podcast mastermind a lot of these people coming you know they're they're showing up online either as like an influencer or a coach or something like right. that so I'm sure that's going to be a hit and actually speaking of coaching aren't you guys having um the primal I'm blanking on the name yeah the primal health coach institute is going to be teaching a three-part series at KetoCon um the same time every morning Friday Saturday and Sunday uh and that's really about how to um, build a coaching business. So I've noticed that we, a lot of people who are coming to KetoCon are some sort of wellness, health or wellness coach. So um, Primal Health Coach Institute is going to teach a three-part series on how to build a coaching business. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be an awesome. People are gonna have a hard time deciding what to go to, honestly. It's jam packed. Um, but again, we'll be recording everything. So uh, if you attend and you want to uh, purchase the virtual replay pass, uh, it's available as an upgrade on 
through the registration process. And if you wait until the end of the event and you still want to purchase it, we'll be selling it after the event on our website. Okay, awesome. Yeah, that's great. Well, you have the cool app that lets you plan your sessions. <laughs> so um, I'm 99% sure that we will have that app up and running. Um, I'm working on the details right now. We've had a few website issues this year and we're just trying to get all of that ironed out. So my goal is to have that up and running and the ticket holders will get an email with an invitation to download the app and how to do it on that app. As long as we get it running, um, it will show all of the vendors where their booth is. It will show um, who all the speakers are, what time their sessions are. And it also has like a, um, like a social aspect to it where you can uh, post to your social accounts or um, communicate with people, other people at the event. We tried it last year and um, we had kind of marginal participation in it. So I wasn't sure if it would really be worth it to do it this year because it's super expensive to, to launch something like that. But with the number of people that we have coming already this year, I'm pretty sure we'll do it. Awesome. Question, will you have, have the, oh, Oops, I already answered that. So, oh, credit cards to buy stuff? Yes. They'll only take credit cards. As a matter of fact, no one accepts cash. And someone asked who's on the cooking stage. Right now, we are not doing cooking demos as of today. That could change, but um, as of today, we're not doing cooking demos this year. Didn't realize it until last day. Oh, the app? <laughs> yeah. So that, that's part of the challenge. So when, when you come to the registration and check-in desk, there's electronic uh, like TV screens and stuff all over the place and it shows the app and it shows the, the uh, thing to download it that you can take a picture of and download it. It was on the back of your badge. So your, um, when, when you checked in, the person who said that, we printed your badge right there on site. That's how it works at check-in. You type your name into the iPad, we find you, you confirm, and then we print your badge and hand you your lanyard. The, uh, the QR code was printed on the back of the badges to download the app. And we still, somehow or another, we just weren't able to communicate it clearly to people. So we're talking about how to be much more effective when that happens this year. <laughs> Um, I, are Maria and Craig coming? No, Maria is going to be in Europe. Mm. Is she doing a retreat? Um, I believe she is. She's, um, I can't remember where she said, maybe she's going to be in Portugal or Spain. Um, and she's taking a group of people to travel. So she won't be able to make it. We talked, we kind we talked about her attending virtually, but it's, it's not something that we can, we can do. It's too complicated. <laughs> Awesome. All right. Any other questions, you guys? Oh, she'll be in Portugal. Yeah. Thanks, Natalie. <laughs> Natalie and very good friends. Okay, make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't think we have any other questions that we missed. If anybody has anything, let us know. And I got all my questions out. I don't know if there's anything else, Robin, that you wanted us to make sure we know. Um, I think we've covered everything. <laughs> so uh, if you have any questions, you can feel free to email, email us at help at ketocon.org um, or you can message us on Instagram. Uh, and I, I hope to see you there. Awesome. Dory says, can't wait to see everyone. Yeah, I'll have to, I'm going to have to click on your name later, Dory, <laughs> and connect with you. It'll be fun. Okay, well, um, then, whoop, hit my camera. I'll let you go then, Robin, unless there's anything else, if anyone has anything else. Um, I will say if anybody still needs a ticket to use my code, Luna50, we'll get you 50 bucks up, 50 bucks off. And don't wait any longer because the price is going to go up again in February. Oh, good. You're going again. Yay. Yeah. Looks, I think there's going to be a great turnout this year. Awesome. All right. Well, last call for any questions, guys, <laughs> or we will sign off for the night. Um, this will be 
in the feed. Um, so if there are questions, just put them in the in the comments section and we can get back to you. But I guess that is it on my end. Thank you, Robin. Thank you. I appreciate it. It was nice to meet you and I'll see you in April. Yes, you will. I'll be the person running around like a crazy one. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you in the cold plunge and calm you down a little bit. Start there. <laughs> All right. Thanks everyone for watching and asking questions and we'll see you soon. Bye everyone. Bye.